Hello, my name is Chris and I'm a U-Haul hitch professional. Putting a hitch in your Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited can lead to some amazing adventures, such as biking, camping, or a road trip to the beach. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Now let me show you how to complete this install. You will need the following tools and supplies to complete this installation. Our first step will be to remove four screws on the inside of the wheel well trim. You can use an eight millimeter socket or a Phillips head screw. Now we will go ahead and repeat these steps on the other side. Now we're gonna be removing this trim piece using a trim panel tool. Next, remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Now we're gonna repeat these steps on the other side. For the next step, we will open our tailgate so we can remove our tail lights. Go ahead and remove this trim clip and remove this access panel. Exposing one T27 Torx bit. Now we're gonna gently pry out our tail light, pushing outward. Go ahead and unclip your tail light harness. Now we will go ahead and repeat these steps on the other side. I'll go ahead and expose two more 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side. Go ahead and remove your fascia door, exposing the bumper beam so we can go ahead and take this bumper fascia off. I'm gonna remove four final 10 millimeter bolts, two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side. We're now ready to remove the Grand Cherokee Limited's bumper fascia by gently peeling and following these lines all the way around. It may be helpful to get a second set of hands to help hold the bumper on the other side. Before you finish removing the fascia, you need to check that you do not have a wire harness connected in the back of your bumper. If you do, you're gonna need to disconnect that before you fully lower the bumper. This again is where a second set of hands will be helpful. Our model did have two bumper sensors plugged in, one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. Remove both before you lower your bumper. First thing we need to do before we lower the exhaust is support the exhaust with a strap. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a 13 millimeter socket with a power tool or with a hand tool, choice is yours, to go ahead and lower the exhaust. Repeat on the other side. Our third exhaust bolt is a little tricky to find behind the exhaust and behind the tire. To remove the bumper beam, you will need to take out three 21 millimeter bolts, two on the side, one underneath, using your 21 millimeter socket and a swivel head for ease. Due to the uh, torque specifications on these bolts, we had to use a very large breaker bar to get them out safely. Now we're gonna use a power tool to speed things up. Take note, when you remove the final bolt, the bumper beam does want to fall out on you, so be sure to grab it when you remove the final bolt or grab a second set of hands. Now we're ready to install the hitch into the bumper. This would be a good time to get a second set of hands as this hitch is heavy. Your hardware kit will include the following bolt, spacer, conical tooth washer, nut, and fish wire. Make sure the teeth on the conical tooth washer face the hitch plate and into the vehicle. Now, while your second set of hands is holding the hitch in place, you can fish wire through out the frame, attach your hardware. Repeat on the other side.
We will now torque the bolts to the manufacturer's specifications. We will be using a 7 8 socket to torque down the new hardware. Repeat on the other side. Now that we have installed the hitch, we can go ahead and put the vehicle back together by following the steps in reverse. Before you tighten this bolt, make sure you lift the exhaust up so that the bolt lines up straight. Again, lift your exhaust. A helpful tip is gonna to be to use some form of tape, masking tape. We wanna protect the Grand Cherokee Limited. So when we put that bumper fascia back on, we don't put any scratches in your vehicle. First set of clicks, center a bumper above the hitch. And then you can begin clicking the rest of the bumper slowly in. Now you can remove your tape. Make sure your clips go over the tab. Get the body lines nice and straight. Repeat on the other side. Reinstall your four 10 millimeters, two here, two on the passenger side. Reinstall two 10 millimeters in the hidden bumper cover. We're now ready to install the final bolt and return the wheel well trim. If you had to remove any bumper wire connections, you need to go ahead and reconnect those at this time. Reinstall the tail light cover. Now that our hitch is installed, we've pulled the vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements. This is a two inch hitch receiver. The pinhole to the end of the bumper is three inches and from the ground to the inside of the top of the receiver is 22 and one quarter inches. These measurements will help you determine the necessary length, rise, or drop of your hitch accessories like a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with your local U-Haul hitch professional, please visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.